In today's Procreate tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to draw this realistic rocky island step by step. Please download all tutorial files in the video description. And if you are ready, let's get started. I'm gonna head and created a canvas, which has the dimensions of 2000 by 2500 pixels. In this drawing, I'm going to use some of the original Procreate brushes, and in addition to that, I made a small set that'll help us achieve that photorealistic look. Here I combined brushes from my older sets, and two of them come from the latest collection of realistic textures. The full set is available to download exclusively on my Patreon. If you enjoy my free YouTube tutorials and brushes, and want to learn even more about Procreate and its cool features and tools, you can find in-depth drawing tutorials as well as hundreds of premium brushes on my Patreon page. It is a subscription-based platform, and right now you have an opportunity to use a free 7 days trial period to check it out. Now without further ado, let's begin drawing. In the beginning, we can go ahead and change the background color. Just go to the layers and tap on the background color. Then select color number 1 from the palette. And the entire canvas will be filled. In the next step, let's create sort of a frame for the illustration. But actually it will be a cave that opens the sea view with an island. For the base color, let's select color number 2. Then go to the brush set and pick flat brush. It has subtle color dynamics. The size can be set to 4%. And we need to draw two shapes on top of the canvas. Let me start from here. And go down and to the right. Make it curvy like this. And then we need to match it with the edge of the canvas on the right. After we created the edge, let's paint inside the shape. And to make the color change slightly, we need to lift the pencil up while making the strokes. And also try to follow the direction of the rock. So here I will change the angle and finish painting it, like this. Let me work more on the edge to make it opaque. And when the first shape is ready, let's draw a similar one on the left side. Let me skip some distance from this one. I will start from here. And this time go to the left and down. To build a shape like this. We can also add some more curves to it. And paint inside it exactly the same way. To fill the empty space. Changing the angle of the brush. Let me make some bigger strokes. For example, here. And if you'd like to adjust the shape, you can do it easily using Liquify from Adjustments. Just set it to Push mode. make the shape even more curvy. Like this. Now after these two shapes are ready, we can add this realistic rocks texture. To do that we need to create a layer on top of this one and apply a clipping mask to keep the texture inside. Let's now go to the color palette to pick a color that comes next. It's number 3. Also from the same brush set, we need to select a brush called Rocks 5. It's for my realistic texture brushes. And the size of the brush is set to 11%. To make the texture follow the shape of the rock, we can rotate the canvas a little bit. Clockwise like this. Now let's try to paint. 
If you didn't like the texture, you can just undo this action, change the angle and try to paint again until you like the result. And to paint on the second part of the rock, we need to rotate the canvas in the opposite direction, this time counterclockwise. And just paint one more time. To adjust the shapes, we can just go to Adjustments and pick Liquify tool. Set it to Push mode and remove distortion and momentum. Set pressure to maximum value and adjust the size. So we can try to push it in different directions. To make it follow the shape even more. Like this. So it'll look more organic. Once you are satisfied with the shape, we can go to the layer and tap on this end icon. Then slide down to change the layer's blending mode. If you set it to difference, it'll blend with the base color and you will get this result. Right after that, we can create another layer to add a highlight. So I'm clicking on this plus button and clipping the new layer. We can also set it to overlay mode right away to see the result. From the color palette we need to select color number 4, then go to airbrushing section and pick soft brush. With the size set to around 9%, let's make a few strokes on the edge. It'll be exposed to the light. Like this. We can also paint on this one slightly. And it'll also add some more contrast to it. When these shapes are ready, we can go ahead and merge all the layers for it. And then create another one to paint at the lower side of the canvas. For the base color, we can pick color number 11. Go back to the brush set for Rocky Island and pick flat brush again. So we can build more shapes. Let me start from the right side and draw a curvy shape like this. That'll go down and then we also need to draw on the left side. Also starting from the edge. We can add some smaller curves here. Then a bigger one. Then I will make the size a little bigger, like 8%. And paint this area. In the same way that we did with the rocks on top. Lifting the pencil up from the canvas and changing the direction. To get some color variation. Now we only need to connect these two parts at the lower side. For the ground. Also paint under it. And if you'd like to fix the shape, you can just use liquify. I want to make it look more uniform. the entire frame, so I will push it slightly down and adjust all the curves, changing the brush size while doing that. Alright, now I like the shape, let's try to add a texture on top of it. For that we will need a new layer. So let me create it by clicking on this plus button and then also clip it, so the texture stays inside. From the palette I will select color number 12 
together with rocks brush. Let's keep the size at around 12 or 13 percent. Rotate the canvas this way and start to make a stroke along the edge. We can continue rotating it. Then again, to keep the same angle of the texture. Now let's rotate it in the opposite direction. And work on this edge. You can try to rotate it to different sides. And then just paint it all like this. It doesn't have to go all the way till the end of the canvas. And now we can experiment with blending modes. So let me open the layer, tap here and scroll a little bit down to lighten. As you see it is blended with the color even better. And we have more shadows. If you like you can try to make some more strokes. Let it go a little bit down. And just like this. But the lower part will be covered by the grass. So we can actually keep it. In order to add a highlight we need to create one more layer on top of this one. Let's not forget to clip it and then set it to overlay mode. In the color palette we need to select color 13. Then go to airbrushing and grab soft brush. Just make a few subtle strokes on top. Apply low pressure first, going slightly down and then press more on the edges. You will get this violet tone and it will look highlighted. Let's now work on this one on the side. I will do it the same way. And press again on the edge. So we will get this now. Once these rocks are ready, we can just go ahead and merge all the layers for it. And then create another one where we will put the grass. Starting with color 9. If we go back to our brush set, you will see this brush called Grass Blade Straight. This one is from my nature brushes. It is also available on Patreon. Now let's set the brush size to around 14%. And start making horizontal strokes. Go a little upper here to cover the edge of the rock. And we can also try to make the strokes back and forth. I will just paint more here to remove this border. Draw in a little bit more. And after that we can go and apply alpha lock to the layer. To add a few more colors here. So next let me pick color 10. Also make the size a little bit bigger. And start painting like this. Mostly at the bottom. And keep the top edge highlighted. Like this. Then we can also try to pick the color from the rock. To make it look like it is reflected on the grass. So it will also get some shade of dark green. I am making these strokes. And in the end, I will select color 11. It was our base color for the rock. So we can now start painting here. At the bottom. And blend all these colors together. Just like this. 
If we apply more pressure at the bottom, we will get more shadow. And keep it dark. Like this. I think we can make it a little bit darker on the sides. Because it is hidden from the sun. And now it is fine. The grass is ready. And we can add some green plants on top. I'm creating a new layer for it. And from the brush set, selecting foliage brush. As the base color, I'm going to use color number 5. Let's now set the size to around 7%. And start creating the shapes. Since this brush is pressure sensitive, we can press more on top to get bigger shapes and then lower the pressure while going down and make it curvy let me tap a few more times here and add more smaller branches that will also go down like this Let me tap a few more times, here close to the edge of the canvas, also a little more on the left side. And add even more branches, that will also go down, and to different sides. Let me put a few more here. Also some smaller ones. So I'm applying very low pressure here. When the first side is ready, let's work on the second half. But here we can make it slightly different. So I'll just tap a few more times in the middle. And add a branch going down. Something like this. To add some highlights, we will need a new layer. Clicking here and then clipping it. For the highlights, let's select color 6, which comes next. Let me make the size slightly bigger and start tapping on the right side of every branch. We will get different colors depending on the pressure. So let me go more down. And now to blend these colors, let's play around with the blending mode. We can try to use hard light, but then lower the opacity to make it not so bright. At around 64% will work. And for the right side, we can add one more layer. Let's not forget to clip this one. And change the color into number 8, so it looks slightly different. Let me also tap a few times here. And on the left side of this branch. Here we can maybe lower the opacity a little, to around 87%. We can now merge these layers, and then add a layer below, so we can draw stems. Let's select color 16 for it, then go to inking, and select dry ink brush. Set the size to 3% and just match it with the shapes. So I will start drawing from here 
and draw between the leaves. Like this. Also on this one. Another one goes this way. Then to the right side. And you just need to draw them according to the shapes that you got. Let me draw a few more curves between the leaves and then do the same on the right. I have only one branch here, so it will be easy. Like this. We can now also merge these two layers and the foreground is totally ready. We can start working on the background and first paint water. So let's create a new layer and put it under all layers. We can now select color 25. Go back to the brush set and pick this flat brush. Set the size to around 4% and start drawing horizontally a little upper than these rocks at the bottom to show the horizon. I will paint a few times to make it look more straight. Let me just make sure it goes horizontal and if you'd like to fix it you can just switch to distort and drag one of the sides down or up. Let me also move it a little higher. This way. And after that we just need to paint this area. With more strokes like this. It'll be the base for the water. You can rotate the canvas however you want to feel more comfortable while painting. Finishing it. And now the base color is ready. Before we introduce some more colors to it, we first need to paint the sky, so we could add a reflection and know what colors to use. So let's create one more layer and also drag it underneath. In the brush set there is a cloud brush. It's this one. We also need to select color 28. Set the size to around 16% and start painting from top of the canvas. Move gradually down. Let's make it more opaque on top. And it can go slightly diagonal. Like this. Now we need to switch to color 20 and start painting from the opposite side, this time going a little up. And try to blend all these colors together. We can switch back to the previous color, lower the size a little bit, like to 14%, and add a few more strokes between pink color, like this. Now let's switch to color 26 and put it very close to water. At the lower side. Also go slightly up. Right after that we can add one more layer 
Yet grab this light yellow. It's number 29. I'll make the size even smaller to 10%. And make a few strokes. Like this. Go into the sides. Let's paint a bit more in the middle. This is where we put an island. So these clouds will be located behind. And to add some glow for the sun, we can apply bloom feature. It is in the adjustments. We just need to slide to the right side to adjust the amount of bloom. And also try to play around with the settings from this menu at the bottom. So we can change the amount of burn, transition and size. Then I'll go and lower the opacity of this layer to around 64%. Let's also try to use Smudge tool. Set to Clouds Brush. I'll increase the size to 12% and keep opacity at 80%. So we can smudge the edges a little bit. Like this. Stretch it a little bit to the sides. Maybe we can go back to it after we paint the island. So let's just keep it for now, without merging the layers. We just need to create a new layer above the water. Select color 16 from the palette. And use flat brush for painting. The size can be set to 3%. I will start drawing from the left side. Draw vertically. And add some curves. If you like, you can find a nice reference. And use it to create your own shape. It will go down like this. And then horizontally on the water. Now we can draw on the right side. I will just make it slightly curvy. Let me fix this part a little bit. Adjust on the curves. And now we can finish it on top. Let me make the size a little bit bigger. Just to paint it faster. I will make strokes inside the outlines. Like this. Painting at the bottom. And I think we can also add a smaller shape here on the right. Just something like this. Let me also paint it. Like this. And now when these two shapes are ready, I think we can start adding the texture. For that I will create a new layer above. 
clip it and set it to screen. Now let's select color 17 and go to Procreate Organic Set. There is a very cool brush called Mountain Ash. It looks hyper realistic, so it'll fit our drawing. With the size set to around 4% and applying low pressure on the pencil, let's make a few vertical strokes along the shape. But it'll look more like wood. If we rotate the canvas like this and add more strokes, it'll look more like a rock. So it is our first layer with the texture. Let's lower the opacity a little bit to around 86% and keep it for now. We can add some foliage on top of it and finish shading after that. So I've created a new layer right here and not clipping it. Let's select color 21. and foliage brush that we already used. Let me try to set the brush size. This is very big. So we need to lower it. Let's say to 3%. And start drawing. Some of the leaves can go outside. And it'll go along the edge. We need to cover the top of this island. It'll look like a mushroom head. We can make a few strokes that will go down like this. Just a couple more. And now we can switch to a lighter color. Which comes next? Selecting it. And we can start to tap to add these highlights. I didn't clip the layer, so we can paint more gaps between the leaves. Let me highlight it on the sides more. Make a few strokes going down. And then we can switch to color 23. Highlight some more parts. For example, here on top. Also go down on the side. A couple more strokes on the left. And this way. We can now switch back to dark color. And make some more strokes to blend everything together. Okay, now I think it looks too green, because the leaves may reflect the sky. And to blend it with the background, we can just go ahead and create a layer on top. Then clip it 
and set it to overlay mode. Then grab this pinkish color number 24 and also soft brush from airbrushing. Let's start to paint on the edges. Like this. I will put it on the right side. Also make the left one highlighted. Just tap a few times inside. And now it is totally done. Let me just merge these layers. And I think we can try to lower the contrast. So I'm just going to hue saturation brightness to lower the saturation a little bit. At around 44% is enough. Now it matches with the color palette of the drawing. Let me just go to transformation menu and use it in warp. I will drag the top a little upper and also stretch it down a little bit. To change the shape. Now I think it looks a little better. So let me deselect it, go to this layer with the texture and create another one above, so we can add more highlights and shadows to it. Let me clip the layer and change the mode to overlay. Then select color 18 from the palette. Go back to organic and select mountain ash. Let me set the size to around 3% and start adding some highlights. For example here on the edge. Then also on this part. We can add a few more highlights to add some volume and I will try to match it with the texture so it looks natural. Let me put another highlight here like this And then on the right side. Let me also make a stroke at the lower part. And on the small rock on the side. We can try to go to adjustments, then hue saturation brightness and play around with the hue. I will set it to 52% and also increase brightness to 53%. After the highlights, we can also add some shadows. So let me add one more layer, then also clip it and set it to subtract. I want to use color number 19 here, with the same brush. Let me just make the size a little bit bigger and start putting the shadows under the foliage and in the gaps between the highlights. Let me darken this part. Then also here, we can tweak the size and also adjust the pressure to get lighter or darker color. You can just do it however you want, but try to make it look natural. For example, I will put a shadow somewhere here, under this part of the foliage. Then go to the left side with low pressure. And 
and then press more to add sort of a crack. It can go down like this. Also go in a bit to the right side. Just put in some more shadows. Making the size a little bit bigger. To darken the lower side. We can also put a shadow here, right at the bottom. And on the small rock, on the side. Going slightly upper. Let me make the size smaller. And just press more. I'll also do it here on the right side, to keep it dark. Now let me just paint horizontally like this, a little higher than the edge. But then I will also do it right here. Let me darken it even more, just draw in this way. It may take some time to get the right shape. And as I said, you can always use references to see where you can put shadows and highlights. So it'll look nice. I'll add another shadow here. Make it rather dark. Then go slightly upper, like this. Now I think it's fine. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but you got the idea. Let me just add one last layer here and clip it as well. Select color 20 and change the lace mode to divide. Now we can add a few more highlights, but with a different tone. Let me start from here. Go down on the edge. Also put it here. On this part. You can go even upper. Maybe also somewhere here. So it'll add even more volume to the rock. Let me highlight this part slightly. And also paint here on the right. Close to the edge. Making a couple more strokes here, on this part. It can go down like this, to blend all these colors together. From distance it looks even better. Alright, and now I think it looks quite cool. Let me go ahead and merge all the layers, for the rocky part first, and then together with the foliage. Now let's duplicate it, go to this one, and I'll follow it to recolor. Let's select color 27, just tap on the layer and click fill layer. It'll change the color. Now we need to unlock it and drag it down in the layers to put it above the clouds but under the water. 
Let me also set it to add mode. So we can add some more glow around the island. We can do it if you go to adjustments and apply Gaussian blur. Just like this. We can set it to around 35%. And if it is too intense, just go ahead and lower the opacity. I will set it to 74%. Now it looks like this. And now after we have all these layers, we can also adjust this one, where we have yellow clouds. We can just use warp tool and try to drag it to different sides. Like this. Now I like how it looks. To finish the background, let's add a few stars, mostly on this violet part. But anyway, I will create a layer here. Then grab this light yellow color 29. And from the Rocky Island brush set, select old paper texture. It works just great to paint stars. With the size set to 26%. We can make a few strokes, like this. We will get these tiny speckles. Let's just set it to add mode. And to add some glow to it, we can apply Gaussian Blur here as well. At around 2%. Now let me lower the opacity of this layer to blend it with the sky. I think at around 25% will be just fine. Now we only need to paint water, add some texture to it and also reflections. Let's find the layer with water, then add another one above it and then clip it of course to keep all the colors inside. In the sky we can see some shades of violet, pink and yellow, so we can add some similar colors on the water, to make it look like a reflection. So let's start with color number 3, go to airbrushing section and grab soft brush. Set the size to around 17%. It makes strokes like this. Now let's add some pinkish color. That will be slightly lighter, like color 20. Maybe make the size a little bit smaller. Just like this. I don't paint on this part because we will have a reflection together with the shadow that comes from the island, so it'll look darker. Alright, now let's also add this light yellow, number 29, just a little bit. Ok, after that we can merge these two layers, and to blend it with the background, set it to multiply mode. So we will get this, and we only need to add water texture. For that we will need to create a new layer. I'm not clipping it yet. Just go into select a brush. From Rocky Island brush set, let's pick watercolor texture. And in the colors, select color 26. We can set the size to 16% and just make a stroke all over the canvas, like this. Now we can change the perspective using transformation. So I'm clicking on this arrow 
and switch into free form. Now let's drag it down like this and a little bit up. We can also stretch it to the sides. Just like this. Let me make it even more. And to add even more perspective, we can switch to distort and drag these corners inwards, so on top the texture will look smaller, like this. Let me adjust it a little bit more. Make sure the entire part is covered by the texture. But if it goes a little upper, we can remove it easily. Just go to this layer, tap on it, get it selected, and then invert. After that, go to the layer with water texture, and from this menu select clear. It will be removed from the outer part, as you can see. Because if we use the clipping mask, it will look like this, which I don't want. So this time the second version worked better. Now to make it look more natural, let's play around with the blending modes for this layer. I will start scrolling down. We can see various results. For example, I like this one, but let's continue scrolling. And I think we can keep it at luminosity. Just lower the opacity a little. I'll set it to around 70%. We can also go here. And maybe make it a little bit darker. Like this. Then also alpha lock the layer. And apply Gaussian blur. This way all the colors in the middle will be blended, but the edges won't be damaged. We will get something like this. Now we only need to add the shadow and a few more highlights on the water. So let's just duplicate the layer with the island. Go to this one and flip it vertical using transformation. Now we can drag it down like this. Grab a razor that is set to soft brush and remove the green part. We can keep it just a little bit. This way. Right after that, let's try to change the last blending mode into multiply. Color burn or linear burn depending on the darkness that you want to get. I think I will keep it in linear burn. And then apply Gaussian blur. We can try to set it around 14% or so. In the end we will get this. If you think it is too dark, just go and play around with the opacity. Also I will go to the layer with the water texture. Let me make the size a bit smaller. And I want to remove it from here, right down to the island. Now we can adjust the opacity even more, so it doesn't look too dark. Even go to this layer and use smudge tool that is set to soft brush to work on the edges a little bit. So I will set it to 2% and try to push it to different sides, matching it with the waves. We can make this part go a little more inside. And now I think it is fine. 
we can only add some highlights on the water. So I will create one more layer here. Use the same light color that is already selected. Just go to Inking and select Dry Ink. Where you see some thick lines, you can just draw on top of them. For example here. And I will try to follow the curves. Like this. Another one here on the right. Just make sure the lines are matching. A couple more. Maybe also here. Just make them shorter. Alright. Now let's apply Gaussian Blur on it. At around 3%. And try to change the layers mode to Add. So it'll start to glow. If you like, you can blur it even more. This way. And use an eraser. It's just some of the shapes. But I think it is actually nice. Maybe only this one. I will try to match it more here. Also try to use smudge tool if eraser didn't work. And right after that, the illustration is ready. But we can try to play around with the colors more. For example, to create sort of a filter, I will add a layer on top of all layers. Then pick this green color number 30. And just drag it on the canvas. Then try various blending modes. For example, soft light. I will just grab a razor, which is already set to soft brush, and remove it from some areas. For example, from these rocks. making subtle strokes with very low pressure. And then lower the opacity to around 80%. So this is the difference. You can try various colors and blending modes, or just keep the original colors if you like. Now after this final step, our Rocky Island illustration is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!